There are molecules found naturally in our body that possesses life-changing healing potential. These molecules can accelerate healing in bones, joints, ligaments, and muscles. They can heal ulcers, restore brain function after a collision, repair organs, and more. Sadly, these molecules start decreasing as we age. But researchers have discovered a way to isolate and recreate these signaling molecules to restore levels in our body, creating a new way to heal the body that actually supports the body, and potentially changing the entire way the medical system approaches illness. Join me as I take a deep dive into TB500 and BPT157, so I'll share all my research and experiments on these fascinating molecules. Before I continue, I must say, this video is purely educational. I'm not a doctor. All of this is from my own experience and research. I'm sharing what I learned. So let's go into this. So what is TP500 and BPC-157? You first must understand that this is actually a combo. So they're actually together because one amazing thing about these peptides is that they have a synergistic effect. So together, they're actually stronger. So there's BPC-157 and TB500. BPC-157 stands for body protective compound and it actually was discovered in your stomach actually inside the gastric lining. TB500 is actually a synthetic version of TB4, which TB4 is found in your body and then they make TB500. They're pretty much the exact same thing, but TB4 is actually related to thymosin, which is actually found and secreted by your thymus gland, and this plays a major role in helping repair your immune system and activation of cells. But it's important to know that oftentimes people will say that TB4 and TB500 are the same thing, which they kind of are, but TB500 is just the synthetic version of TB4. Let's go into how do these peptides work? Well, BPC-157 has multiple benefits and works throughout the entire body. It's neuroprotective, so helping with the brain. It's cardioprotective, so helping with the heart. It's gastroprotective, so helping with the stomach. And it's musculoskeletal protective, so helping with joints, ligaments, and bones. So as you can see, it helps heal the body. Again, why it's called body protective compound. TB500 works by binding to a protein called actin. And this protein, actin, actually influences the formation and movement of most cells in our body. So by activating that protein, it leads to a faster healing time, especially in injured areas. And now I want to take a deeper dive into TB4 because there's a lot of confusion on this peptide and must understand the name TB4. Four comes from, I mean, there's four binding domains and some peptide pharmacies will offer a single binding domain of TB4 to give a more potent healing benefit of that domain. So bear with me, it's a little confusing. So there are four domains. The first domain is 1723, which that domain of TB4 really focuses on healing the joints and the muscles, which actually a lot of peptide pharmacies will say that it's TB500 or TB4, but really it's the binding domain of 1723, which most people wanting to use TB4 really want to focus on healing joints, ligaments, and muscles. The next binding domain is 115, which this helps prevent cell death. So when I think of that, I think of more internal healing. The next binding domain is 14, which that helps a lot with reducing inflammation. And the last binding domain is 4043, which that really focuses on supporting the heart which this is pretty cool because by isolating one domain of TB4, you can really focus on that benefit. So let's go into the benefits of these two peptides. And you must realize that these peptides work in harmony and they have a lot of crossover overlap. But a quick way is that BPC will focus more on joints, ligaments, and muscles. And I believe TB500 will focus more on your internal health. But together, they still have a very strong synergistic effect. So some of the research benefits I've noticed has been neuroprotective, so helping with the brain, cardioprotective, so helping with the heart, gastroprotective, so helping with the stomach, and musculoskeletal protectors so help with joints, ligaments, and muscles. Other benefits include boosting the immune system, helping with hair growth, accelerating wound healing, improving eye health, and improving liver health. And side note, if I were to share all the benefits of these two peptides, the entire video would be an hour long. So I did my best to cover the biggest ones. Here are the reported research side effects I've seen from TB500 and BPC-157. The first is swelling or pain when injecting because one way to actually use these peptides, actually the most common way, is they're injecting under the skin. Next common report side effect is headache, water retention, and as well feeling temporarily tired, which I've seen mostly coming from TB4. 
Now let's go into the research dosing and cycling. And this is largely coming from just studying renowned peptide experts and reading other articles as well as my own personal experience. But for TP500, I've seen anywhere from 300 micrograms to one gram a day. For BPC157, I've seen anywhere from 300 micrograms to 600 micrograms a day. And one cool thing about all these peptides is that I've seen TB500 and BPC157 as a pill form, as a intranasal form, as well as a injection form. Personally, I think the best way to use these peptides is through injecting. I believe I'll get the highest chance of absorption. When it comes to cycling, the goal is to heal because naturally these peptides are triggered when there is healing needed in the body. And to actually give an example, four to seven times a week, until the condition is resolved. And one side note, if needing to cycle TP500 longer than three months, take a one month break off and continue. Now, what are some noteworthy supplements to stack with these peptides? The first one would be some kind of natural diuretic just to help with any water retention. The second would be some kind of natural anti-inflammatories like fish oil or curcumin, just any natural anti-inflammatory just to help support the body in its healing. And lastly, the masculine medicine, which I believe to be the strongest test booster on the market. And if you're a man, you know, if you need more testosterone, it's always gonna help your body out. Here are some other peptides I would stack with TB500 and BPC157. It largely depends on your goal and why you're using the peptides. But first would be combining some growth hormone peptides like ipirelin with tesserelin or ipirelin with MonGRF because growth hormone is the hormone of vitality which helps a lot with healing and can have a very nice synergistic effect with TP500 and BPC157. Next peptide would be thymosin alpha-1 which this peptide really focuses on the immune system. So if my goal was to focus more on immunity, it could be a very powerful peptide to pair up with TB500 and BPC157. The next noteworthy peptide is GHKKU, which is a copper peptide that's heavily used for beauty and cosmetics, but at the same time actually has a lot of internal healing benefits. So I can see how adding this peptide to TB500 and BPC157, if the main goal was maybe hair growth, so using GHKKU topically, or maybe it's just full body healing because GHKKU can also be injected. And the last noteworthy peptide is called epithalon, which is actually a bioregulator, but it still falls in the peptide category. But epithalon really shines when it comes to longevity as it actually enhances your telomeres, which longer telomeres equals a longer lifespan. So I can see how adding epithalon can be very beneficial if the goal was longevity slash healing, especially because epithalon is usually ran in the 10 to 20 day cycle. So I could see how adding in TB500 and BPC during that 20 day cycle of epithalon can be a very powerful way to help with longevity and help with healing and as well use as a tune up every one or two times a year. So what are the pros of these peptides? The first pro is that these are heavily well used and well researched peptides. Second, they have a wide array of benefits. So it can help with so many different conditions from your physical health to your internal health. Next pro, it stacks well with many different peptides. And the last pro, it can be taken orally or intranasally. When it comes to the absorption rate from taking it orally and intranasally, that is hard to say, but it still can be advantageous for somebody who really hates injecting. So let's go to the cons of TB500 and BPC157. From my experience, the biggest con is the price point. Because these peptides are so well used, they're in high demand, making them having a higher price point, especially compared to other peptides. So what is my opinion on these peptides? Personally, I love these peptides. I've personally used TB500 and BPC157 quite extensively in my own research and have benefited greatly from them. And the thing is, I personally do not use them a ton because I don't really have a major need for it. I don't have any injuries, I'm not like inflamed, I don't have any like major illness. So there really is not a need for me to use a peptide. I'm a firm believer not to use a peptide unless you actually have a need for it. However, though, to support my needs, I use these peptides maybe once a week, once every two weeks, as just a way to tune my body up whenever I feel like I need it. Like, let's sometimes I hit a really hard workout. I'm like, ooh, right now it'd be nice to have some TB500 and BPC-137. Or maybe I feel like I'm a little bit low energy today or just, you know, a little sick. Okay, nice, TB500 and BPC could be a nice little injection to do. But again, I'm not doing it every single day, like five days on or two days off. It's more whenever I feel like I need it. And currently I'm actually doing a triple peptide cocktail with TB500, BPC-157 and GHKKU, which I've been getting a lot of joy out of that cocktail whenever I do those peptides. Well, thanks for watching the video over TB500 and BPC-157. If you want to take a deeper dive into peptides in an organized format, check out my book. It's called Peptides Made Simple, which I take all this information in a very easy, digestible, and organized format. Thank you for watching and stick around for future videos.